Hey everyone, it's Dennis Wood from Cinevate here for uh, another installment of uh, Cinevate's Video University, this one relating uh, to the Atlas 30 and a bunch of the new features. Uh, we've been away for a while. Uh, you may have missed us. Uh, I missed you. I don't, we, we haven't uh, used the studio a lot in the last little while because we've been so busy with the new products. And uh, I was talking with our good pal Simon Shiner, who you may remember from Uno. He's asking where we were. Uh, why haven't you been online? And it's, we've just been super busy. Uh, we brought in some new resellers. So if you're with Henry's in Toronto, uh, you're going to see our products there, as well as uh, the Calgary Camera Store and Lozo in uh, Montreal. So we've been busy. Um, today we're going to talk about the Atlas 30, uh, a couple of the new features that we put in. We've cut the cost about $200, we've integrated a 100mm bowl, refined the braking system and added a new uh, 8 point adjustable leg system. Another big change, uh, and I believe you'll see it because these should be the best quality, no pressure guys behind the camera, this should be the best quality uh, video university segment you've ever seen. Why? Because the guys at Catchlight are shooting it, they're helping us out. Uh, you, may, you may remember this rig, this is the core rig, which Dave Clement kind of came in and, and uh, um, gizmo uh, here in the studio. So using parts that we already made. So we've made some changes to the rigs and um, you can see now one of the big things we'll be talking about is this new quick release system that allows us to quickly remove a camera and uh, from the system, but without having to put on any add-on parts. So it's now fully integrated. So there you go. Uh, I hope you enjoy the segment. Uh, we're going to be going through real quick a bunch of the new points here in the Atlas 30. So, first of all, previously there was a $200 option uh, with this unit that would involve ordering it with a 100 millimeter bowl. And what we've done now is we've integrated that bowl into it because most people were ordering it with. And this now gives us the option uh, to do things that are hard to do with other units, which is specifically level your rig. So here we have uh, the core system, and I'm just going to remove it completely from the unit, taking the ball off, and you can see there's the 100 millimeter ball that integrates with our 100 millimeter bowl. And uh, just a, as a side note, that bowl or this ball isn't uh, standard with the unit, so we do mention that in the catalog. If you do need um, a ball, we have them. They're CNC machined, and they're very low profile, so they fit uh, without a long uh, nut. Uh, per se, hanging down below. So that just makes it a little bit easier to use. This is something, um, if you want to do, if you're set up and your unit is, say, declined and you're trying to do a, I call it the escalator shot, where you're going down an angle, it's impossible to do, especially if you want to do panning, unless you level the head. So we've also changed the brake system. Previously, the brake involved a few components. One of them in particular, uh, the brake, call it the pad, could actually fly off the unit if you kept unscrewing the brake. What was happening is people would uh, unscrew this and that piece would potentially fly off and because it was spring loaded, they would lose it for good. So now it's very, very simple. You can see it travels a bit when you tighten it. So if you do want it to be an inch over here, expect that it's gonna travel a little bit. There's a bushing in there that uh, cons constrains against the stainless steel. If it's not set properly, you, you just lift and adjust so it is. And in this case, I can't loosen it, so I'm gonna wanna lift this up and adjust it and you should just be in a in a good position there you can actually put it on to add some drag but our preference in terms of drag would be to use your fingers so the other big change we've made is in the leg system itself um, as as previous we have these micro adjustable urethane non-marking non-skid balls that go on the end and uh, if you're on a, say, a wooden table um, and it's a little warped, or if you're, if you're just on a surface that requires this micro leveling, just like a tripod leg, you can unscrew that and get everything perfect. And just a tip, when you are traveling with this thing, make sure you tighten them up uh, because they can come out with vibration. So just give them a little snug with your hands and then you're good. The other thing we've changed is, uh, again, we've, we're still using kips. And just for people who don't uh, remember, a kip can be readjusted by just pulling and repositioning. You can still tighten it, uh, but if the handle's in the way like it is right now, uh, you can just lift and rotate. But we've used um, a different system here. So the legs, instead of having uh, infinite adjustment, we put eight different adjustments that kind of lock in. And if I just adjust, let's say that I had a, a very uneven surface, maybe the edge of a curb, um, I can now lock this leg in, in a different position. So we've, we've increased the functionality, made them simpler. 
um, and added in these extra adjustments. So again, you can go higher or lower very quickly without really worrying about leveling it because we uh, everything CNC machine, it's very accurate. So if you set this on say increment four, if they're all on increment four, pretty good guarantee that they're gonna be perfectly level. It's not good enough just to be innovative with products. We found we've had to be very innovative uh, in how we ship products now. Uh, because you know, you the consumer want something that's pretty and we want to make sure that when you get something from us that everything around it is 100% recyclable. So uh, if you are ordering products from Cinovate, uh, specifically the Atlas um, and similar, you'll, you'll probably see this uh, come in with your handy dandy FedEx person. And this is um, basically uh, typical of uh, the new box system that we have. Because we ship different lengths of rails, we have to have different lengths of boxes. So this telescopes, and I'm happy to say that since we started using this, we have not lost, damaged, or otherwise misplaced any rails. So it turns out to be vastly superior to the tubes we were using previously. So just another example of how we uh, are always pushing the envelope in terms of innovation, even in our boxes. I believe that covers uh, pretty much all the changes with the Atlas as usual. I mean, the one thing that we have improved on is uh, how we're treating the bearings. Uh, we're using a different material. So now the system, as it should work, if you just give this a little bit of a lift, you'll see it'll just kind of go on its own. It's very, very smooth, almost zero resistance there. That's sort of the test in the field, by the way, if you're having issues with the unit. Again, I should be able to lift it an inch or so and just let it go. Um, so again, this would be a situation where you could potentially have a hands-off uh, LTS shot. So that's about it. That's uh, some, I mean, it doesn't sound like much, but we've been pretty busy making changes on the CNC machining side. So I hope you find that useful. Again, that's just uh, an overview of what's new with the Atlas 30.